Dan Campbell, Brad Holmes, they spoke to the media. Spenny, which way you want to go with this first? Because there there was a ton of storylines that came out of this. Yeah, it's it's up to you. We got the Dan Campbell bite about him talking to Carter's teammate. We have the Brad Holmes bite talking about character and talent. And yeah, let's 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 do that first about him talking. And for those of you that missed this, the Dan Campbell sound I think was very telling. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm making too much of this. Maybe I'm not. I'll roll it for you. Let's be the ju- you can be the judge. They just don't know. And so I think that's what you're trying to figure out. And you go through the character when you start talking about, uh, man, the position coach. You start talking to the head coach. You start talking to uh, the resources at the school. And and then you begin to develop, hey, man, this is what this guy's really like. Uh, Like you talk about Carter. I mean, uh, we talked to a a teammate of his the other day. And, uh, man, he told us some things we we didn't know that nobody probably would have known. It was like, oh, it's interesting. It's pretty good. So, it's interesting. <laughs> you know? That was Dan. So, here we go. Let's put the poker skills to the test, everybody, here. Because hearing that audibly and seeing it physically, I kind of get a split. Way different. Yeah, yeah it's way different. Mm-hmm. It's way different. Um, hearing it audibly, Lindsay. Immediately, and then again, this was was uh, without physically seeing it because that was right. the first time I physically seen it. Right, hearing it audibly, I thought, okay, they're gonna we're gonna roll with Jalen Carter, and I'm here for it. You guys know my stance on it. Right. What was your impression of that? Seeing it, yes, I still feel that way. So you still feel like he's the dude because I I, I watched his face kind of light up, and then when talking about you know speaking with his teammate, and he was like. You know, we found out some things that we didn't know, you know, which I think I know what it is. But, you know, at the same time, um, when you're investigating a player and you're trying to find out background information on them and you're talking to different people, you know, you do find out things that, you know, nobody else probably would ever know. Right. Um, and, and that could lead to you trusting in a guy and saying, hey, we're going to take a chance on this guy. He had a bad stretch of situations right here. Um, but, but we still think that, you know, his character – is okay and, and we think with what we're we've put in place he'll be even better so i i i, I like you know dan campbell had the smile on his face and, and when i heard it without seeing it mm-hmm. i thought that million percent i thought mm-hmm. i thought the exact same thing a mm-hmm. million percent i thought mm-hmm. that when i watched it mm-hmm. the body language I could I could see how and and look here we are. Tell me the NFL is not king, by the way. Yeah. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. <laughs> like I, I'm sitting here watching a clip as if I'm playing hold'em against Dan Campbell right now. Right, right. And here we are, and we're and we're we're all eating it up. I see you guys in the WilbertSports.com chat thread. We are all eating this up right now. But anyway, I digress. Seeing it, all, I could see how someone would make the case for. Maybe, maybe it's something where it's more known, and that's why he felt kind of more comfortable being a little, more, having a little more of a tell physically. Right. I'm not as confident seeing it as I was hearing it. Hearing it, I was all in for. Why, it. why not seeing it? What, what Be, gave you? Can we run it again? Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I'm sizing it up here. If, if we were playing poker, I would still be pondering my move. They just don't know, and so. I think that's what you're trying to figure out. And you go through the character when you start talking about, uh, man, the position coach. You start talking to the head coach. You start talking to uh, the resources at the school. And and then you begin to develop, hey, man, this is what this guy's really like. Uh, like you talk about Carter. I mean, uh, we talked to a, a teammate of his the other day. And, uh, man, he told us some things we didn't, we didn't know that nobody probably would have known. It was like, oh, it's interesting. It's pretty good. So it's interesting. <laughs> you know all right here okay i'm on board i'm after watching it the second See? time i'm all the way on board See? when he uses the word really and i know he's not talking about carter by name when he says that but i i don't think like do we do we think like dan campbell is that calculated and that measured he what what do we like about dan campbell transparent he's, he's kind of an open book right yep. yeah that's yep. that's what we like about you don't you don't have to want there's not an ulterior motive with what with what he is when he says you, you find out what a person is really like and you could tell he was going to go to the carter thing after yeah you find out what a person is really like i'm with you Lindsay. we're all the way in now we're yeah, all the way in i, I think so and I, I think that the situation he's talking about i think the, ki- the kid actually 
took his NIL money and paid for one of his teammates to eat lunch because they couldn't afford it or something to that extent. So he's a very giving and caring person. And I think that's the situation Dan Campbell was talking about. Oh, okay. Let Lindsey bring it to the table. Okay. Did you know that, Flannel? No, I did not. Okay. Hey, but you're, more, you're more plugged <laughs> in than me. Lindsey Hunter's more plugged in than Flannel Sam. Breaking news. So I think that's what they were talking about, you know. So <laughs> Always trying to one-up. Good thing. <laughs> well, it's not hard, Sam Flannel. <laughs> it's not hard. Um, but, no, it's, it is. It's, I'm with you. Lindsay, I, I think I think that that's going to be the move because this is the way it works every year. Every year with the draft, this is the way that it works. We do all these mental gymnast. We 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 draw our conclusions largely shaped by a bunch by a couple media people's opinion, right? Because we don't watch all these games. So, like the Calais, you know, the Calais uh, Cansey people. I mean, how many games a pit you watch? Yeah, Calais Cansey is six is or, a joke to me. It's I like he he's a good player, probably a late first round talent, but at, at six is like come on. Right. But that but that's my point though. But just to wrap it all up, like that that's the way this works. <clears throat> then we start doing the mental gymnastics, right? Where we start reading too much into everything. People have to change things up to keep it fresh. You right. got people like Jeff Iafrady do a mock draft where he has Will Anderson falling to six. And and we start to convince ourselves that, that like there's a path for that. No, there's not a path for that. <laughs> no, there's not a path for Will Anderson to be available at number six in the draft. Just like there's not a path in the draft for the Lions to get away from what they are. And what are they? They're football guys. What do football guys value? Big guy big guy it's very very simple right big guys expensive smaller guys cheaper in all forms and fashion draft capital contractually all that kind of stuff that may change with the number one pick though if if they go with the kid from alabama small guy first he's five six (laughs) six. (laughs) no but that's that's the quarterback that's the skill thing i'm talking about football people Mm -hmm. football (laughs) people and brad holmes and dan campbell reek of being football people. Very Panay true. Sewell. Like, look, how, how has this worked, man? How has this worked so far? Panay Sewell. Aiden Hutchinson. Why, why do we expect that to change? It shouldn't. They've been successful doing it, so why, why should they? Their, their formula seems to be working. You know, uh, everybody, they, everybody feels as though the Lions are going to win the division with the right picks, right? Is that what everybody feels that way? We talked yep. about that. Right? There are some that say they could just throw away the six pick and still win the division. I wouldn't do. I mean, hey, I wouldn't either. <laughs> but there, there are there are people there are people out there. WoodwardSports.com chat poll. What does Dan Campbell mean by that? For that sound that we just played, interesting good or interesting bad? Eighty eight percent say interesting good. So I would take that to mean interesting good, as in you think Jalen Carter is going to be the guy. Oh God. What? I hope so. <laughs> God, I hope Spenmo, so. you and I. I know. We're gonna after after the elation's over and everything. You and I are gonna go have a beverage. Oh, for sure. It's Just gonna be away from the crowd. Just a realization moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jalen yeah. Carter's on my football team. Just, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Absolutely. If Seattle, I will never. Oh man. If Seattle takes Jalen Carter. I will never let them put it down. After what they did to us to kick us out of the playoffs, and then they take Jalen Carter. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'd give them all the blame for Russell Wilson. <laughs> real quick, because I know you're a big Calais Campbell guy. Do you do you feel that same hate for the Falcons? No, no. That was on Campbell. It's on, yeah, he, that's where he, he made wanted. A decision. It. I don't yeah. want to blame him.